Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rabbit. Welcome back to more Animal Crossing. Let's go to City and all City Folk. We have mail, but who is it from? We have one from Butch and one from the Happy Room Academy. I'm still going to tell me how my room is. And yes, no, like last episode, Butch moved away. I kind of just walked in on him and he was pegged up, which <laughs> was kind of bad that we had to hear that in the great find, but hey. Now that said, let's raise a question. Anybody else move in? I recognize all of your names so far. And yeah, I recognize Simon too. <laughs> I don't think I recognized them last time, but um, I, 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 I see it. I, I, uh, I, got, I got the vision. Uh, well, memory, should I say. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's only 4 p.m. and you can tell my brain's just kind of packing it in for the day. It's like, no, you're only 21. Oh God, I, I almost went to say 20 then. No, I'm 21 now. <sighs> um, it's like, you're only 21. Don't act like an old man just yet. I might actually download you fuel and uh, get a bunch of energy back in live stream after I'm done recording this. Time shall tell. Time shall tell. Um, of course, by the time you're seeing this, that live stream will have uh, gone and happened. So, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm just. I mean, I'm in a very content creaty mood today, and um, I'm also in a very good mood. Um, and see, the thing is, again, you guys always have the front row privilege to whatever the hell is going on in my head on any given week. So you're gonna get it. And I know. Like, I, am, I imagine those of you that consistently pull up these recordings, you know, you're sat there, you're kicking back in like an armchair, and you're like, ah, what's Naramic up been up to this week? What's interesting, Naramic? So, um, first and foremost, I believe this is the first Animal Crossing video that has gone up since we got monetized on the channel, which is crazy. It's leading crazy. Uh, again, I'm trying to find um, when we got monetized. It was the 1st of November, and we've not had any episodes since, so... Hooray to us, actually. Um, it is crazy to think that this series is still going after, like, many years. We're on episode 180, and now we've got ads. It's like, this challenge journey's been insane, and I do just want to say, you know, with each passing episode, I get more and more grateful that I'm able to do this and appease you guys. Obviously, it's not going to be my job. Well, just yet. You know, never say never and all that, but... I am just insanely grateful we are still here, we're still doing this, and we're seeing all these cool milestones. It does genuinely mean a lot. But you're not here for that, you're here for the actual spicy news, the the drama. So I'll give it to you straight. In fact, I think this deserves an immediate trip to the roost to sit down and ruminate over. But, um, so, the thing is, right, on this channel, I, I think I do things more often than not, but I'm aware not all of you will watch every video. Um, but... Over the recent two years or so, I've shown a researching interest in a brand from my childhood. Um, they were very popular in the UK and Ireland and maybe a bit of Europe, but not really around the rest of the world. Uh, but basically, they were called Girls Aloud. They were a massive part of my childhood, and they were like British megastars for most of the 2000s. Um, like, I, I probably know most of their singles discography off like heart. And um, yeah, no, they're quite unique because they were made on a TV show. Uh, they split up for good in 2013, and that was after only coming back for like one song. They've, they've realistically been gone for like almost 40 years, and only came back for like a few months and at all. Um, but they've always made one of my favourite bands. I'm not sure whether that's just nostalgia or whatnot, me being stuck in my ways, but I've always really enjoyed um, their discography and whatnot. Um, and it was like, it was always a shame that I could never go see them, because you know, I was like, they were formed in 2002. And then Rogue in 2013. I would have been 11 at the oldest. It's not something I would have particularly remembered. Like, I went to a Wiggles concert when I was younger. A probably a band more of you are familiar with. And I, I, I can remember, like, I can't remember anything about it except the fact that there was a massive inflatable, like, you know the things you see at car washes where, like, their arms fly around? There was one of them on stage and it fell down onto the performance midway through. And that's the only thing I remember. Like, I, you know, realistically, I, I, I probably shouldn't have gone because I was 11 and it would have been very bad for my ears, I imagine. Um, also quite costly, I presume? Unless I wouldn't remember it, like, still, never stopped me from being bummed out, I could never go see them live, and you know, I always super liked their music, and it was always in the back of my mind, you know, I'm listening to the radio at work, and I'd roll my eyes whenever XYZ song came on, um, usually Sia, like, Sia music, or Dua Lipa, and I've just, like, offended a lot of people, whenever that comes on the radio at work, I'm always like, oh, flick over to, like, um, I don't even remember what the next station over is, but I'll flick it, flick it over and they'll be playing something a bit more palatable and flick it back after three minutes. It's like, is it petty? Ooh, the mushrooms are back. You know what, I'm going to actually be proactive and pick them up this year. Um, <laughs> Oi, second one we pick up on it, say, piece of furniture. I don't mind if I do. 
But um, yeah, no. But there was always that thing feeling in the back of my mind where you know I'd go, oh, music nowadays they don't make it like they used to, and I think, wouldn't it be cool if Girls Live came back? Um, it's like it was kind of like my little secret. Like I've shared it with my friends over the years, and they've always agreed. Oh yeah, no, these are some baggage. You know, I, I recognise them, but they've they've really faded from the public consciousness. Like occasionally you'll see one of them on like a celebrity episode of a show where. As much as I hate to admit it, they're not really celebrities. They were celebrities like 10, 15 years ago. They're a little bit washed up. But but they had mostly faded from the public consciousness. And there's a big bud after that. But first, let's see if we can get this right. I'm going to say I threw in a Silver Axe. Hold on, that's a lie. You just took the Regnier Roll Axe in here, didn't you? Unbelievable. I mean, like, hello, I was in the middle of spa treatment. Ugh. <laughs> try and fail. Better to try and fail than never try at all. But, um, yeah, no, so they mostly faded from the public consciousness. And, oh, did I just get my axe back? Oh, no, she did say to take my axe and go. That would make sense. I need to dispose of that invite card. Right, well, you know what? We'll, um, we'll run around and um, we'll pick up these mushrooms, run it to a nook, and then we can get rid of our invite card. God, I keep, keep forgetting we, uh, we have them. But, um, you yeah, know, should, should be a nice little bit of profit, this, as well. So, you know, so, yeah. It also gives me a bit more time to chat. Um, but, in the back of my mind, I was always thinking, it sucks I can never see them live, and, you know, I wish they could make more music. And, you know, time passed, and the eventuality of that coming to, you know, the slow realisation that, okay, they've been broken up ten years at the start of this year. Just maybe, it's done for. Maybe, maybe my chances were lost. Why have I not torn you up? God. Awful town maintenance, I know. Shame on me. Um, but earlier this year was actually the 20th anniversary of their album. Um... And they were like, hey, we're going to, you know, re-release our first album on vinyl or in CD with a load of extra features. And I was like, yo, cool. And we get like, 4K remasters. And it was like, this is cool, but it's not really screaming comeback. It's just screaming, you know, well, 20th anniversary and whatnot, you know. It's like, any other band that was on here, it would probably do the same or, like, broken up. It's like, why, why not, you know. Submit for the fans, and it's probably not too much effort to go into the ball picks and stuff out, but put it on a CD, print a few thousand. Like, it, it wasn't screaming reunion as nigh. Then, um, yeah, a few months ago, they finished remastering all of the videos from their first album. And that was kind of it, you know, we got to wait, um, I think, until next year for the second one to maybe get the same treatment. And that was where the story presumably ended. But a few nights ago, I see their trending. And my heart immediately goes into my stomach. And it's like, has another one of them kicked the bucket? Because in, in that hiatus, one of them did, uh, very unfortunately. And I was like, has one of them kicked the bucket? And I open it. And th there's a newspaper in the UK that people don't really like. But they had an exclusive scoop from an insider saying that they're coming back. And the inner child in me lost his shit. And this was like half eleven, so I had to be a very muted level of losing my shit. But lose my shit I did nonetheless. And that has probably been like the... I don't think I'm going to forget. How it felt, because I blasted through all the songs on Spotify. It was like, fuck yeah! Because <laughs> I'd, I'd been in, like, a mood for them already. I've been listening to their songs a bit more than usual on Spotify to try and uh, bump up my Spotify rap numbers. And, um, yeah. No, just they announced they were back. Which is very funny, because somebody made a joke about their career being dead when I mentioned them on, on the Halloween livestream I did the other night. <laughs> and it's like, not anymore. They're climbing out of that grave. <laughs> it's like... And, again, there's nothing confirmed, but from the reaction I've seen online, and it was front page news on a few newspapers, it's like, I think it's happening. And as much as it hates to admit, because some people say they're a bit of a trashy band and whatnot, and they've always held a special place in my heart, and I think they put out unequivocal bangers, it's probably the best news I've received this week. And probably how I'm standing right now isn't doing me very much justice. Again, after I down that G Fuel, the enthusiasm will be back, I'm telling you. But, um... Yeah, no, it just, it significantly uh, boosted my week. And um, yeah, on the other thing, um, Dead by Daylight got Stranger Things back. Uh, so I started watching Stranger Things Season 3. Currently on Episode 2. I just finished it um, earlier today. Quite good. Liking where it's going. Heard it was the worst season, but um, I shall be my own judge and not be easily swayed by others. So, yeah, we've got a lot of interesting stuff going on in the uh, Naramic Asher one this week. Um... And yeah, I'm looking to start work on a Neuromic 2 video. Uh, that should be able to get done, hopefully in a short span of time, alongside some uni work. Um, now, I think that is every inch of this town searched, uh, with us trekking back up to the museum. So, we can we do all back, sell all our stuff to Nook, and then, let's go make our room fun. Let's go see who's around, who's wanted to talk and whatnot. But yeah, no, I'm having probably the best week I've had in a while. Which is good, like, 
You know, it just... Man! <laughs> oh, anyway, I want to sell. Ah, what am I gonna sell? I'm gonna sell this waste of space. Um, I need to- oh, I need to go donate you, of course. Right, okay, well, that's gonna jog my memory. I'm kind of thankful I did do that now, but... Let me sell all this, and oh, 11,000, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Again, okay, it's just a little bit extra um, cash on the side, you know. It's like, if we ever need to spend it on something like a... Additional painting per se, we could go and do that. In fact, do we go and do that? I mean, we've got two paintings to go and see if they're real. We may as well go and see if we can get a third one. Because then it increases the chance of at least one of them being real, if you're with me. Uh-huh. And it means we can play our game as well. Our well, little game. I wonder if anybody else does that. Like, if there's another series on YouTube where they're like, Aha! We're going to try and guess you know, who these villagers' names are without speaking to them. I mean, it seems like a basic enough concept. I'm sure somebody else has done it. <laughs> but I wonder if any of you guys watch me and any content creators that do that. Because, I mean, I don't know. To my knowledge, I've, I've been acutely aware of this for a while. Uh, well, not, there's not that many Animal Crossing Wii Let's Plays in English that are currently ongoing. It's not exactly the most popular game in the franchise. No, you can probably have a bit more work with, but any, anyone going out of their way to play City Folk? Nah. It's like, I'm, I'm one of the few guys. And maybe, maybe the only other person doing it speaks like German or Russian. It's like... Yeah, if you guys watch that, you're going to be more bilingual, and it's like, if that ends up panning out in whatever way, that is an insane coincidence that, you know, i, I got to kind of nod in agreement with and respect <laughs> for just being that unlikely to happen. Ugh, right, here we are. So how many have we got? I'm assuming it's going to be the full five? Full five. All right, first and foremost, let's get the ones I know out of the way. You were rolled. I wish you would move in, because you were sick. Like, I love rolled. Now, I think you're P-O-K. Uh, peck away, sorry. I'm gonna count that as a win. Two for five. Then, your stitches. Okay. Oh God, I know who that guy is. He's in the GameCube time. I'm gonna forget. Now, I think you're Blair. Mint. Okay. Lost one. Now, who do I want to... Are you Hopkins? No, are you Gabby? No, you're not Gabby. God, who is he? He's in- he's in my GameCube town! I should know! I should know! I, I'm gonna say Hopkins. Pippi. It was in there! It, it, it was- it was vaguely on the tip of my tongue and I fumbled it. Ow. <laughs> Can't win them all, but... Curses. Thought- thought I had it. Is it still three for five? Not bad. I'd, I'd love to get a five for five, because it's been a hot minute. Now, oh, hi, Red. Um, I'm not going to ask why you've got a disembodied skeleton nervous system there, but <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take this. Um, I do actually like that painting. It looks very funny, so even if it is a fake, I'll actually go display that in my house instead of selling it to Nook. So Creative Reds doesn't advertise, I know, blah, 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 blah. That was fine. If I've got a fake one, it means I can go and sell it to Nook again, so. Hmm. Although it probably take more money to dispose of these guys than I probably get from selling them. And oh! I almost left, but no, 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 no. Okay, we've got another set of five, and I know two off the bat. You're static, and I think, you know, just to confirm for anyone watching, uh, that is also Rosie. Okay, so again. Now, the issue is, obviously, where the rest come in. I don't know any of those two. And I think you're called Axel. Oh, <gasps> that was, oh, I'm so glad I went out on a win then. Right, we're tied for our previous score, but can we win? I think you're called Rhonda. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That is that was such a that was such a, like a, a throw, but I'm glad I got it now. Who would you be? I'm gonna say Margaret. Becky. You do not look like a Becky. If I imagine someone called Becky, I imagine someone who looks young. But eight, three for five and four for five for a total of seven out of ten. Not a bad score by any means of the imagination. But my additional game of trying to tap all the things on top and then back before you use. I think it's... probably takes less time than I thought it did to do that when I was young. <laughs> I swear that used to be more of a, uh, a, a you know, time-sensitive uh, thing if I ever wanted to do it. <laughs> you know, hence why I did it. It's a challenge, but... God, I had time to do it like four times there. Or maybe it's only when he arrives at the city and not when he leaves. I don't know. Ah, well. Anyway, goodbye, Cap'n. Thank you for... <laughs> Being so kind as to take us there and back within the space of, like, what, two minutes? It is how it is. But, oh! Let's get this. Let's see, do we have a real painting on our hands, or have we just been scammed out of 
what would be close to twelve thousand bells. Because I won't be happy. I won't be happy if we have. Let's go though. Let's. Look, I have. I have faith. One of them would be right, but part of me doesn't want the scary painting to be. A, a good one because I think I could stick that in my house. I think that'd be funny to have. It just, it's, it's a funny looking painting and unlike in New Leaf you can't like specifically point it and go that's a forgery. Well, I don't think you can. <laughs> if, if you could, god I'm bad. Um, but we'll see. Three paintings to assess blathers. I need to know. Are any of them the real deal? So who, who is that? So what shall you donate? We're gonna start off with the amazing painting. So, who who level this is an amazing painting? How can a mirror will capture this essence in a single phrase? All that one can say is that it couldn't be more of an amazing painting. What? So that's one. So then the second one. Scary now I'm gonna do calm painting. Calm painting, are you real? Who who lovely this is the calm painting? How can a mirror will capture its essence within a single phrase? I'm kinda scared this is gonna be three for three. But yep. We're gonna click on scary painting. Please be a forgery. Please. Whoa, whoa, what a treat for these eyes. This is the scary painting. <gasps> it went exactly how I was hoping it would. Under no circumstances can you display it, but I happily will. <laughs> you know, that's two extra ones in the painting exhibit. I am slightly intrigued to go see how that looks now. But let's have a look. So. Looks a bit barren on this wall, but you know, you got one there, you got one here, so there's, there's, a bit, there's a bit of something going on, you know, some... I think definitely if we incorporate visiting Red into our routine, it definitely... We could start to fill out this room, in all fairness, which I think could be, uh... Oh, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? It's like, it, it is starting to get more extensive than you'd initially give it credit for, and it's like... I wonder if... I wonder if you can sell them to Nook at, like, a reduced price, or maybe a higher price. Look, Red, I imagine finding... Rare art on the cheap. Probably would be able to sell it for a profit, but who knows. And thank you for your patronage. What the hell is there an iron thing there? But you all just say thank you for your patronage. Why is that one specifically iron gated off? I assume that's the one that's based on like the Mona Lisa, a girl with the pearl earring. One of, one of those like mega well known paintings. But <laughs> that is more filled out than I thought it'd be. In fact, now we are filling that out, I think a decent portion of every exhibit's filled out. In fact, I assume the fossil is entirely filled out to my memory, so yeah. You know, I'll take that. It, it makes our, you know, it makes it feel a bit more full, in a way, which I like. It feels, it feels, it feels good. Anyway, Nook, I've got a gift for you. I'll just say stuff to dispose of. It's, a, it's another invite card. Actually, you don't know. We're not going to pay to dispose of. I'm just going to dump it in the recycling bin. And then we can go find somewhere to display it in all its wonderful glory. There you are. <laughs> just, to be fair, we could nick garbage out of here to go sell, but there's nothing in here. So, um, we'll throw the invite card in there. Oh, it changes to being called a forged painting, then. <sighs> ah. So does that mean it'll look different when displayed, or... What's the... What's the consensus on that? I just want to know, you know, it's not, not slightly concerning at all that it suddenly decides to change now. So I'm going to take care of these wheeze, I'm telling you. Oh, and these damn things. You'd expect them to, like, die because it's getting cold, but they're still as persistent as ever. It's like, why? Why? Can I just have peace? No? Oh, fine. Alright, anyway. A bit of an early visit to the house today, but we'll poke our head out and go talk to anyone who's hanging about. We may as well be social, as the kids say. But where should we go dump this thing, then? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Which is not exactly what you'd want to hear, is it? Um, I think upstairs might actually be the best shout. And I'm aware upstairs has been largely unchanged in many a year, but part of me wants to get rid of that table, part of me doesn't. We can remove something in here from this iconic lineup of items, and I think it's either the froggy chair or the headrest there. It's one of the two, and I need to make a decision. What will it be? What will it be? I can't know. Oh, it's difficult. It's very difficult. I think. 
I don't know. This shouldn't be as difficult as a decision as I'm making it seem. I think we're going to have to get rid of the froggy chair. It's going to go in storage. I, I think the headrests and like, the, all the other war-themed items just go too well with this. And, hey, look at him. He doesn't look forged at all. He looks right at home. Mwah. Perfection. It does make you wonder, though, if Red's always intending to sell you forged goods, how he accidentally will sometimes give you the right good. I don't... Like, well, not right, but, you know, the legit one. It's like, you're running a forgery business. How 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 are you acquiring the originals? Well, I, I assume you probably copy from the originals, but... Aren't most forged pieces of art based on already created forged pieces of art? Like, you know... So, Red's got some connections, is all that I'm saying. Ah, but let's go make a connection with one of our fellow neighbours. Um, just when you think you can escape, go KK Rider, it's on the F and TV. But how are you doing, Felicity? Whoa, Daniel, oh my gosh, like, what's with the sudden appearance? You're like one of those magicians who appears in a big poofy cloud of smoke or whatever. Oh, and, um, one time no see. We haven't seen each other in forever, so that's like how we should greet each other. Anything else going on with you? Oh, and I totally won't tell anyone about that bedhead of yours. It, I haven't developed a bedhead since. It was always like this. It's iconic. Don't you diss the bedhead? It's good. It's stylish. Some would say. <laughs> Alrighty, who else is about? Um, Kiki. Nope, I do not mean to behead you. I just wanted to speak with you. Oh, hello, Daniel. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw each other, don't you think, kitty cat? I knew it. You've been gone, haven't you? I've been worried about you. I thought maybe something bad had happened. But I'm glad you decided to stop by again. It means I get to see your smiling face some more. To be fair, yes, my character is always smiling unless I force him to do an emotion like... We know that's more smiling. That's also more smiling. That's more smiling and that's, um... The vague shape of a smile. Okay, never mind. My point stands. Um... My character really is always smiling. Should I be concerned? Should I like, summon a, an exorcist for that? I don't know. Ooh, uh, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, Daniel, I got problems. My catchphrase is like so last decade. I need something bright and happy and bright. Or whatever. Just change it for me, please. No sweat. I have to jump on opportunities like this while I'm still an unknown commodity. All right then, Daniel, muster up something good. That way, if someone hates it, I can blame you. Muster up something good, you say? Well, you should have just said. Is this a bit petty? Yes. Is this gonna fit? I guess... I guess something is spelt good. So, there you are, something. Woohoo, something! Sounds pretty good, right, something? Yes. And it's definitely a good catchphrase. Therefore, something is in fact good. And I think with that, I'm going to retreat to my house before she realizes just how dirty I did her and comes looking for revenge. <laughs> I mean, obviously not actually, but still. <laughs> still. Don't really give out catchphrases that much. I do like keeping them on their original ones, but um, sometimes you just got to take the opportunity, you know, have a bit of fun with it. But um, speaking of fun, I'm afraid our fun for this episode is going to end here. Um, So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Uh, well, I had to delay the episode by like 10 seconds because I accidentally picked this up. It's like, how did that even happen? That's a stupid bath map. Right. Now, for realsies this time, of course, if you have enjoyed, do feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It does all help it a bunch. It lets me know that you do want to see more of this and all that good stuff. But with all that said and all that side, that's it for now. So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Ben Remick, and peace out.